Hello everyone, my name is Nikki. I'm here at Van Dam State Beach celebrating MTA Monday with you. Thank you for being here, joining us virtually in our California State Park. I want to talk to you a little bit about the season openers of our recreational fishing. We just had rock fishing season opener um, May 1st, also salmon and halibut and Dungeness Crab is open right now too. So we want to talk about all those things today because it's really exciting, fun times for our local um, community as the, man, the travel restrictions are still happening and COVID is keeping us all sheltered in place right now. But if your boat is in the water, you're still able to go out and go fishing. So if you guys have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment box. Um, like or share if you want to learn more. If you want to ask us any questions, please leave them there too. So does anyone know all the limits and regulations for rockfish? Maybe a few people. Well, for each fishing license per person, you get 10 rockfish a day, daily limit, with some sub-limits and exceptions to each species. As lingcod, you can only have two at 22 inches. Cabazon is three at a minimum length of 15 inches. And also black, um, black rockfish is four per person, but that's included in your 10 per person limit. And then canary is three. And there's greenlings that you can get 10 per day, but also that is part of your 10 fish limit of the day, your bag limit. And then five California scorpion fish. And then salmon, you cannot catch any coho salmon in our ocean here. In Oregon, in different sections of California, rules are different, so make sure you look at the rules and regulations at CDFW, California Department of Fish and Wildlife, for all their rules and regulations in different um, times of the year where the season might close, as rockfish is open from May 1st to December 31st, and salmon is open from May 1st to November 8th, and then our Dungeness crab season opened up November 2nd, and it is open until July 30th, with a minimum of 10 per day per fishing license per person. Um, and also, they can only get the crab that are over five and three quarters inches long, about the size of a shotgun, <laughs> depending on your hand. But make sure you have a ruler so that you know you're not catching or taking anything from the sea that is too mature or not allowed because the fines are hefty if you get caught and they're not it's not okay to you know disrespect our ocean that gives us so much and so much resource and so much life and then also kelp is open you can get 10 uh, pound bag limit and just different types of kelp is allowed but you're not allowed to take any eel grass surf grass or sea palm from our area um what else do you guys have any questions about these, this topic? Does anyone have any questions? If you'd like to know more information, please check out that link. And then if also if you want um, maybe an app on your phone that you might find helpful, it's called Fish Legal. That gives you some good info on the fly on your phone, letting you know where you're at, are you in a marine protected area, and what's allowed and what's not allowed. So all these things are important to know if you go fishing in our area or anywhere in California or around the world. You need to know where you're at, what you're fishing for, and what is okay. As yellow eye is not a fish you can fish for. And I'm going to put a few flyers on our Facebook page that show you the difference so that you know what a vermilion is, what a canary is, and um, just knowing what they look like when they're smaller and more immature fish because they change in um, the stripe pattern and sometimes the certain features on their body change as they grow. But if you get caught with them and they're not allowed, it could be a huge fine. So making sure that you protect these rockfish by knowing the rules and regulations is so important. I'm not sure about lobster season. We don't have lobster up here in our area, but um, that is something you can also find out on CDFW, California Department of Fish and Wildlife website. Thank you for the question.
All right, guys, if you have any more questions about this topic, please feel free to ask after this um, live stream's over, and also we'll be posting this video on our Facebook page. So if you have any questions that come up later or you want to find out more, um, ask, and I'll help you find the right resources and where to go to search for that information. Thank you again for being here celebrating MCA Monday with me. My name is Nikki, and I hope you have a wonderful day. Have a good one.